Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a look at WinSysClean. It is designed to clean, fix, optimize your computer with some pretty unique features. For example, right from the start, you have your junk file info, a little information about your OS, how much memory is being used, disk space, registry size, memory load, Windows shutdown, restore points, create, delete. There's a lot going on here. So essentially you can work your way down through here, but don't forget that down here at the bottom are some popular things. If you line your mouse over them, you'll get used to them after a while. Make sure I got it working right. There we go. And as you can see, this is edit your startup, defragment your hard drive, memory diagnostic, uninstall programs, options, folder settings, scheduler, registry backup, restore registry, and logs. Help, scan, so let's play with that where you might want to be right from the get-go is you can always find that big scan and as you can see here we have some junk files a few registry problems etc etc and again this is a freemium product at $29.95 and it promises to do more as you can see more apps more registry cleaners etc etc so as you move through the program you'll find that out I like the system status a lot Windows options, these are very common entries a lot of people use. Delete your dump files, etc., etc. App cleaning, so this will take you through how many apps are detected, how many cleaners they have, and so on and so forth. So if you scroll down through here, you can actually do some app cleaning through here. Um, you can select them all. Internet browsers, same as you would see most drive cleaners. It's just some settings to see what you can and can't delete because sometimes you want to save your cookies or you know, maybe your visited URLs, etc., etc. And registry, which is a nice setup here because if you're familiar with the registry, there might be a couple areas here you might not want to play with. However, as a general rule, we don't really advise people to mess around with the registry unless you know what you're doing. Up under repair, this is an interesting, unique feature I thought. This is going to fix any USB problems you have as well as clean any traces from it. So we can click this, give it a second, and that's kind of nice because a lot of programs don't get into that. As you can see it automatically saved a registry backup so if you have a problem later you can come back. Under monitors, quite a bit going on here as well. You can monitor your CPU and process. process I should just give up now. Processor usage. Here we go. Memory monitor. Disk monitor. It's going to take a minute to load the disk drive up. There we go. Services monitor. And driver monitor. Tuning. You have your desktop tuning, which in general is a lot of stuff that you might use in other tweaking type of programs, creating shortcuts for the safely remove hardware. Need if you're plugging and unplugging stuff all the time. Network and sharing shortcut change your windows logon screen change your logon text shadow neat stuff so down here there it is the desktop shortcut I was looking for so let's say I wanted to get at my control panel you know pretty frequently you can pick icon tasks or category view and create a desktop shortcut and if you saw that in the background there it is right there so I can always get at my sh on my control panel quickly let's get it back come on there we go. So we'll take a look down here as you can see the edit the windows startup there's everything that's running you could check it uncheck it very very simple to use and you can also go into the advanced editor which just brings up the windows system configuration. A lot going on here. Uh, there's, I think there's a defrag yep defragment hard drive again you're bringing up windows defrag again Windows tools memory diagnostic so basically you're looking at all Windows tools down here and your WinSys clean options which are very limited and that's really about it in a nutshell we could sit here for a half an hour and play around with this stuff but I think that gives you the gist of what the program does what it's capable of and some of its unique features so as always we appreciate your watching we appreciate you subscribing if you have and we'll see you next time